Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to Cleveland State Community College. Uh, Steve Hartline with you on uh, Mix 1041's uh, Facebook page as well as Talk 1013 The Buzz. I'm joined. Uh, we're live at Cleveland State. I'm joined by the president of Cleveland State, Dr. Bill Seymour. Doc, it all comes down to this, doesn't it? <laughs> it is great, Steve, to have a championship game on your home court. Uh, our folks have done such a great job in organizing this tournament. Of course, we support our team all the way, but uh, the Cougars tonight are playing their fourth game in five days. So is Roan State. So, uh, like I said earlier, I think it may be the team that has the best conditioning. It's going to be exciting either way. What's it been like uh, as far as from a college perspective uh, hosting this, uh, this tournament, the TCCAA tournament? Well, we take it as a great honor. We only get to do it once every uh, 10 years. We rotate it around uh, the conference. Um, the last three years, I've been president of the Tennessee Community College Athletic Association. Proud to do that and proud to do it for uh, Cleveland State, but I represent uh, the 10 member colleges and the presidents that are there. So we want to make sure we represent the whole conference as best we can. Well, and you're certainly uh, doing that. I know your planning committee has worked very hard. you got a lot of our, as I came in, the, uh, the Lane Center here uh, uh, this afternoon. I uh, saw a lot of our friends from Cleveland State working. They're very busy out in the lobby. Well, I told the whole staff that uh, they could leave work early if they came over to the game. So we should get a good turnout. Also, you mentioned this is the L. Quinton Lane uh, Gymnasium. Uh, President Lane was here all weekend long yeah, I saw and kind of holding court, so to speak, and uh, it was good to see him. Well, uh, it, it all comes down uh, to this uh, for this uh, tournament. Talk about, uh, Dr. Seymour, what happens. Uh, of course, we're about to see and hear. We're on uh, Talk 101.3, the buzz as well. Uh, we're about to see and hear Roan State and Cleveland State. Tell us about this game and then what happens with the winner. Well, the... I'll start with that. Yeah. But uh, the, the winner uh, is the champion of the Tennessee Community College Athletic Association, but also the NJCAA Region 7. Region 7 consists of both Tennessee and Kentucky. But uh, years ago, Kentucky stopped doing uh, college athletics with the community colleges. So right now, Tennessee uh, are the only schools as part of Region 7. But you win this tournament, you go on to the national tournament. I think it's going to be in Hutchinson, Kansas. Uh, coming up on uh, March 18th through 20-something. And uh, we would love to take a trip to Kansas to see our team play in the first time since I think like in the 80s was the last yeah. time uh, Cleveland State uh, went to um, uh, the NJCAA. It's been since 2009 that we even played in the title game. So this is a big deal for Cleveland State. Well, Dr. Seymour, you have had a, uh, the same, I understand, the same seat the entire tournament for all the Cleveland State wins. Is that right? That's right. We started Friday, and um, so I'm wearing the same vest, logo vest. I sit behind the team, and, uh, yeah, i got to be a little bit superstitious that I, I need to keep that going uh, tonight. So I'll spend some time there, but I'll come back and see you from time to time. Please do. I've got, uh, you're going to be sitting very close to my friend Dr. Paul and Cheryl Bacon who are right there uh, behind the – he's, he's uh, basically retired now, so Yeah, it's we fun. chatted the other night, although we're actually going to be sitting oh, yeah, on this. Here. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, okay. We're actually the visiting team, by the way, the seating works out. Yeah. I'm yeah. not exactly sure how it works. but <laughs> uh, So we're home, but we're not sitting in the home bench. Uh, but it really doesn't matter. But we've had our faculty and staff, they've been putting together signs and, and uh, shakers and, and all kinds of uh, – pom-poms and things of that nature. So they're getting excited. We'll have a good turnout, uh, folks. And, we'll, and obviously, as we did on the radio this morning, we let them know very early that, hey, come on out, enjoy the game. It's not very often that you get to see a community college championship tournament uh, here with your local team playing tonight. Thanks again uh, for your work with us as well and partnering with us at Mix 1041. I appreciate our crew, uh, Cameron Bryant, Dwayne Williams, uh, I know we've had other folks over here. Terry Evans has been a part of this. Uh, Nicole Quince, uh, just on and on. So it's it's been fun uh, covering this. Yeah, and I've seen all the staff come in from the other colleges that are visiting, including the presidents, and everybody has said how much they appreciate, not just what the uh, Cleveland State crew has done, but they appreciate how you and your team have done in terms of broadcasting the games 
uh, online, on Facebook, and on the radio for the Cleveland State games. It's really been a class act, so thank you for well, all that. Well, we're about to end that here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, this is your first time, so don't blow it. I, right? haven't, I haven't done a game in about four years, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Thanks, Doctor. Great to see you. Good to see you. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, as we go now, and we'll uh, turn uh, to the court now and get ready for the uh, championship game of this tournament. Again, it's going to be Roan State as the home team against Cleveland State Community College as the visiting team. So uh, we'll get ready for that and uh, get ready to go. Gary Oinby providing uh, the uh, public address uh, announcement uh, here, uh, here this afternoon. And um, we are uh, certainly... Uh, glad you're joining us, and uh, glad you're joining us on uh, Talk 101.3 The Buzz. Now, download the Mix 104.1 app. Now, you say, well, why the Mix app? Well, you can listen to Talk 101.3 The Buzz anywhere in the world. Go to mymix1041.com, and you can uh, download our app if you've not. Then one touch listening to The Buzz as well. Talk 101.3 and Mix 104.1. Uh, Cameron, it's been a very successful tournament. It has been. This tournament has been great with all these wonderful teams, and uh, Cleveland State's done a great job hosting it, and it's always good when you're the host team to have someone in the championship, and the, the Cougars are ready to try to get that region berth uh, with a championship win today. We would invite you out. It's uh, 4 o'clock, and uh, if uh, you may be uh, heading home or maybe you're listening or watching uh, somewhere along the network line, we would invite you uh, to join us. This is all part of what's been a big day and will continue uh, to go into tonight, uh, actually, of, uh, of basketball action. Uh, we'll have Lee University women at 7 o'clock on Mix 1041 as they take on their, it's the first of uh, their Gulf South Conference uh, uh, tournament. That'll be on Mix 1041, 7 o'clock tonight. And uh, they're taking on West Alabama, uh, actually taking on, uh, who is that, Cameron? Uh, someone uh, from Alabama. I think West Alabama, yeah, I think that's West right. Alabama, that's yeah. right. And then uh, we'll have uh, uh, at uh, 9 o'clock uh, tonight, that'll be the University of Tennessee taking on Mississippi State uh, in Knoxville at Thompson Bowling. That'll be here on Talk 101.3, the buzz if you're listening on the radio. You may be watching us, Mix 1041 WCLE on uh, Facebook. You can watch. We're a couple of minutes away uh, from the uh, tip-off. Cameron, I know that uh, beginning Monday, we'll turn our sights to high school baseball. We will, absolutely. High school baseball will be on 101.3 The Buzz as well right here as uh, we'll be at Walker Valley for their first baseball action of the game. We'll be at Bradley on <coughs> Tuesday. So excited for as we basketball starts to run down and we hit spring sports with baseball and, of course, also so uh, uh, softball, men's soccer, and track will also be spring sports for high school as basketball is along wrapping up. But we still got two high school basketball teams in the state tournament. Yeah. Uh, Thursday, Bradley Central will take on uh, Lebanon. Uh, Thursday at 11 a.m. That'll be on Mix 1041. And uh, we are looking forward uh, to that. It's uh, supplied by Wholesale Supply Group. That's Thursday at the Murphy Center at MTSU as the Bradley Central High School Barretts in the tournament. Now, I understand that the uh, boys uh, state tournament, the brackets were set today. I don't think we have that. Do we know yet? It'll be set at 6 p.m. tonight. Oh, so 6 o'clock tonight. Will, they will draw it at 6 p.m., and we should know brackets shortly after. All right, so that's for the Cleveland boys who advanced to the state tournament last night and a win uh, last evening over Murfreesboro Blackman at the Raider Arena. And so... Uh, it's, I tell you, March Madness is here, and I'll give you another peek uh, very quickly here. Mix Madness, presented by American Car Center, returns. I think this is something like our 12th or 13th year, uh, and uh, that's uh, going to be available to you beginning Sunday. We're going to do a week of pre-registration. They'll set the NCAA brackets on uh, Sunday, March 17th. All right, the teams are uh, heading uh, to their uh, respective benches here, Roan State. The Raiders are actually the home team. Cleveland State Community College, the Cougars, the visiting team, although they're hosting. As uh, Dr. Seymour said, uh, the teams uh, host this tournament once every decade, and so they are hosting here. Uh, and they've, it's taken a lot of work. It's taken a lot of effort. Our sincere congratulations to Cleveland State on a job well done. Mike Policastro, the Athletic director here for so many years uh, is is just just a well he's he's a 
he's he's a he's kind of nice. I mean, he's <laughs> mean to me, but I mean, he's best friends with Paul Cretton. What are you going to say? But uh, but anyway, no, it's a uh, it's a great great team here. Lee Sigliano has been the coach uh, for so many years. His dad, Jim Sigliano, they call him Sig, was the coach here at Cleveland State for many many years. My buddy Ed Coates, who uh, uh, he was here the first year of Cleveland State. I would say he's either listening or watching, maybe looking uh, at Sylvia Coates' Facebook page right now. And uh, we say hello to all of our uh, longtime friends at Cleveland State. Gary Oinby is introducing the uh, starters right now as uh, Gary is uh, the public address announcer. Rome State. Coming down to uh, Cleveland as part of the 10 team, Tallahassee Community College Athletic Association. And they'll host this tournament down the line. A lot of fans here, Cameron, at 4 o'clock. Yeah, it's good. Uh, it's good to have all the fans out here at 4 o'clock, see all the Cleveland State fans out here. Also, all the Roan State fans, uh, they came out in uh, droves today, too. They sure did. And uh, great, to see, uh, great to see the support both teams are getting. This is, uh, you're going to be listening here on Talk 101.3, the buzz and watching on our uh, Mix 104.1 Facebook page, the TCCAA Men's Championship game featuring Cleveland State and uh, also Roan State. All right, so uh, Cleveland State, they have uh, their starters out and uh, now you see, uh, now you see uh, also Roan State getting ready and we're ready to uh, to tip it off here. And uh, there we go. For Cleveland State, it's going to be Maurice Dixon, as uh, Dr. Seymour talked about him earlier on. He will uh, jump it up, joined there by Delano Walker, along with Jonathan King, as well as Xavier Young. And we have uh, one player I can't see his number from here you know I'm 40 years old now I'm not I'm not getting any younger all right here we go they got to jump it up we're about ready to tip off the championship game of the TWZ Ballet here we go Roan State will control Roan State has it Fisher controlling for the Raiders of Roan State this is Jordan actually James Jordan now going outside to black black outside behind the three-point circle he's going to take a three to open the game good dog Roan State breaks open with a three-pointer and takes an early lead as it was James Jordan. By the way, that was the name of Michael Jordan's dad, James, with the, uh, the three-pointer. Cleveland State controls on the outside, working the far side, left to right if you're listening, and going now on that uh, perimeter. Working near side, this is Young. Young for three, no good. Shot no good, rebound back up top. Going back to the far side, out behind the three-point line, out of the top of the key will be Person. This is DeMonte Person running the offense for Cleveland State. They're going now, trying that left-hand sign. Back to Person at the top of the key. Now they'll go back down to the corner as Roan State running that 2-3 zone defense near side. This is Person. Person down low. Pass is intercepted. Roan State will come out with it, leading 3-0 as we're in the opening minute and a half of the uh, first half. Another three-point try, good. That's the left hand this time of James Jordan again. Jordan is second three-pointer as Roan State's taken. Oh, they're going to say that's a two. They're going to say that's a two. It's five-nothing, five-nothing. Roan State leads near as uh, Cleveland State the ball. They'll go out to the top of the key. Person will go near side to Young. Back to Person. Person, top of the key. Stop, pop, pass, shot. Good dog. Young for three. And it's 5-3. Nice play there, Cameron, Absolutely. by the Cougars. Good job getting it down to the outside. Jordan dribble drive is going to stop, pop, and good. James Jordan has all seven points for Roan State. The Raiders 7-3 in this men's championship game, TCCAA. Roan State 7, Cleveland State 3. Opening two minutes of the first half of competition live from the lane center at Cleveland State Community College. Top of the key, they'll go. Now they're going to fake the three. Here's Cleveland State all the way down, up and under, and in it goes. Jonathan King with an acrobatic layup. 7 5. Roan State the lead in the ball. Great play there by King. Here we go. 
Back to the other side, got a foul called. Foul's gonna go against Jonathan King for Cleveland State and going to stay right here with Roan State. For a foul was on the floor. 17-31, first half, 7-5. It's Roan State. They're the home team here, technically, leading Cleveland State 7-5. Talk, 101-3, the buzz. Download the Mix app and listen worldwide. One touch on your phone. MyMix1041.com around the world. Here's Roan State. As Jordan again, Jordan again, Jordan again, Jordan again. Two more for James Jordan. 9-5, they go up and nine for James Jordan, five for Cleveland State. As we're in the opening three minutes of the first half. All the way down, shot good. No, it's in and out, no good. But Cleveland State, the offensive rebound. Back to the top of the key they go with Person. Person sets the offense for the Cougars. It'll go back to the other side and King. Down in that corner. Now the wing is King. Person will go back to Young. They're working the perimeter here. Again, facing that zone. Is that a three? No, that's a two, but it's good. And Delano Walker, a two-pointer for Cleveland State, 9-7. Roan State the lead. Back again, Roan State shot no good. Offensive rebound. Fakes the three, now will try the three. That's no good. Rebound of the Cougars, they break away here. Pass near side, and they'll have to slow it down. Person at the top of the key for Cleveland State. Again, they're technically, or officially, the road team here. Roan State is the home team. Under 16 minutes ago, first half, 9-7. Roan State, the lead all the way down. And a foul is called against Roan State. And that is going to go against uh, Jerome of the, uh, the Raiders. And it's going to send, uh, we're going to have our first free throws of the game, Jonathan King to shoot two. Cameron, what do you think? Well, so far it's been a nice move. It's been Black and uh, Jones for Roan State. It's been them the whole tournament. And Walker and uh, Person and Young taking advantage for Cleveland State so far. The first of two, and it's good. Jonathan King hits the uh, first free throw. Again, the winner here. Will advance to the national tournament in Hutchison, Kansas next week. You ever been to Kansas? I've never been to Kansas. Have Flat, you been to Kansas? Absolutely. Flattest state in the union. And uh, go drive through Kansas sometime like at the middle of the night <laughs> in July. Second free throw. I did that about 30 years ago. Second free throw is good. Nine. We're tied at nine. But a three-pointer. No good. Roan State. Offensive rebound. They go back outside once again. This is uh, Jordan again. Jordan. James Jordan, who has all nine. But he's going to go out now. It's going to be a three-pointer's good. That is uh, Kevin Hill, Kevon Hill, 12-9. And Cleveland State throws it out of bounds, and it's going to go back to Roan State. The Cougars a bit rattled here as uh, Cougars coach Lisa Gliano points to the head, says, guys, keep your head in the game here. Back we go with Roan State, the home team. Right to left, if you're listening on Talk 101.3, Jordan all the way. James Jordan, good. He has 11, 14 and all for Roan State. The Raiders of Roan State leading Cleveland State, 14-9, 15 minutes ago, first half. It is the men's championship game. We're at Cleveland State Community College. On the far side, shot is bouncing off the rim. No good. Roan State the rebound, and here they come. They had numbers momentarily, but they'll pull it up. Jordan goes down low. Shot is no good. Cleveland State the rebound. All the way down is King. Shot is no good, but a foul. And King, that is uh, going to be Jonathan King to the line to shoot two. Cameron, what do you got? Well, so far, King, a nice drive right there. And uh, Jordan, again, has just been all over the court for Rome State so far. It's been all of Rome State. Uh, they're doing a fantastic job of getting and shooting behind that arc. 14-9, Rome State the lead. 14-34, first half, free throw good. 14-10. 
And they're going to, Roan State going to sub in. Uh, they're going to bring in uh, Damari Black for the Raiders of Roan State. Raiders of Cleveland High School will find out at 6 o'clock who and when they play in the Boys State Tournament next week in Murfreesboro. Second free throw, good. So uh, that is uh, King 4 for 4 from the free throw line. 14-11, Roan State the lead. Good crowd here. Very L good crowd. Yeah, L. Quentin Lane Gymnasium. Dr. Lane uh, joined us over the weekend. Final game. Been a lot of work, a lot of effort by Cleveland State into this tournament. Layup good for Roan State as uh, Demary Black, who just checked in all the way. 16-11 our score. It's Roan State the lead. Coming up on 14 minutes to go in the first half. Outside, that's a three try, no good. Rebound comes in, boom. And it's going to be a foul against Cleveland State on the, on the rebound as it came down. We're going to go back the other way to Roan State. Cleveland State is going to sub in Carey Pratt. Pratt coming into the game. And Roan State will take it. All the way down. Tony Bartolo taking a break from the concession stand to watch the game. That's nice. <laughs> good to see Bartolo. There's a long two-pointer. No good. Rebound off to the Cougars. Back they come with Demonte Person. Person moving fast. Now he's going to slow it down a little bit. Pass out of bounds. Last touch by the Cougars. And back to the way we go to Roan State. A little too hard on the pass right there. Trying to go down low, but out of bounds it goes. And so Roan State, the Raiders, they're in red. They're red and gray. Here's Jordan all the way. Shot no good. Rebound off to the Cougars. Person back across the 10-second line will come down near side. This is Walker. Walker back to Person. Person top of the gate. Three players waiting to sub in. Two for Cleveland State, one for Roan State. Opposite side fakes the three. Now they're going to work at top of the key in person. They'll run the offense here. Five on the shot clock. Near side, this is Walker. Walker shot no good. Rebound off to the Raiders of Roan State. They're going to run it a little bit here. Under 13 minutes, first half. 16-11, Roan State the lead. This is the men's championship game of the conference tournament. At Cleveland State, talk 101 3, the buzz. Roan has it. Outside, all the way down. Shot partially blocked. Put back up and good. That is going to be uh, Kendon Reeves. Reeves, his first two. Timeout, Lee Sigliano in Cleveland State. And Roan State opens up a seven point lead, 18 11, 12 33 until halftime. It's uh, Roan State uh, team is very athletic. They are very athletic. They're very quick on the on the drives. They do a great job of just driving to the hoop. Uh, Jordan is one of them. Black's another. They've got tall, linky guys underneath, and they are very good at threes from the corner. They're very good at uh, driving to the bucket. And Jordan is going to be at the big uh, big one, Cleveland State. For Cleveland State on the other side, they got to calm down a little bit, settle down, and uh, make their shots. It's good advice for anybody. For live <laughs> talk, 101.3 The Buzz and the Mix 104.1 Facebook page. Mix 104.1 WCLE on Facebook. By the way, our Facebook page powered by Cleveland State Community College. Find out more about Cleveland State on their website, clevelandstatecc.edu. Cleveland State front of the offense, left to right as you listen. Now in the ball of game is going to be Austin Fisher at point guard. Going to go three-point try, no good. Rebound comes off the radar. Oh, they lost the ball. Cleveland State back up with it. Down low. Laying no good. Put back is up and good. Ho, oh ho. Great exchange there. 18-13. Now along. That's a three. That is that man again for Roan State, James Jordan. He is on fire. He is right now. My word. 21-13, Roan State the lead here, under 12 in the first half. Cleveland State with it. Fans getting into it all over the building. There's a three-point try. Cleveland State, that's good. And that is Carey Pratt, who just checked in a couple of minutes ago. Pratt for three. 
It's a five-point game. Roan State, 21-16. Now they're going to try a three. It's no good off the front iron. Rebound comes off to the Cougars of Cleveland State. Here they come, left to right as you listen. Going to go outside with it and set the offense. Cougars, that's a two-point shot. No good. Rebound fought for in the air. Roan State comes down with it. Raiders all the way. Shot is good. That's black for the Raiders, and they go back up seven. Under 11 in the first half. 23-16, Roan State leading Cleveland State in the men's championship game of the TCCAA. Cleveland State the ball. Long three is good for Cleveland State. Austin Fisher, long three-pointer. Timeout, Roan State. And Cleveland State Community College draws within four points. 10-32 until halftime, and Cameron, it's definitely the month of March. It is definitely the month of March, March Madness, as we've said, with a couple of upsets in this tournament. The uh, Cleveland State and Roan State were lower seats coming into this. They have made it all the way to the championship game, and they're exchanging three-pointers right now. And uh, head coach of the Roan State Raiders is Coach Randy Nesbitt. And for Cleveland State, longtime coach, I don't know how many years now, Lee Sigliano has been uh, the head coach here. His dad, uh, Jim Sigliano, is a legend here. Former, he's a Cleveland State Hall of Famer, of course, but he's a uh, former athletic director and former uh, men's basketball coach here. Roan State, the ball. We're back to live action. Going to try an alley-oop, and they do it. It's good. Oh, what a pass. That's an alley-oop. Good Austin Brooks on the slam dunk. 25-19. Roan State goes up six. We're nearing the 10 minute, the halfway mark of the first half. Cougars with a wall. That's Fisher running the offense. Another long three for Fisher's good. That's his second. It's a three point game, 25-22. Roan State the lead. Under 10 minutes in the first half. TCCAA men's championship game. Motlow State won the women's championship right before us. Beat Chattanooga State. Here is Roan State all the way. Rejected! But it's going to stay with Roan State. Last touch by Cleveland State. Interesting play there. Shot clock's at five, so they're going to have to get rid of it and get it up quickly. 9.28 to go, first half, 25-22. Roan State the lead, whistle, 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 and Cleveland State going to check two players in. That's going to be uh, Darius Terman and Xavier Young checking in for the Cougars of Cleveland State, playing as the visiting team, although we're in the L. Quentin Lane Gymnasium at Cleveland State. Five on the shot clock, going to go up top. Shot no good. Cleveland State the ball, trailing by three, 9.20 in the first half. Fisher, nice pass down low. Turnaround shot, no good. Ball still in the air, pop, top, pop, top. Roan State with it. They came out with it. This is Jordan. No good. Offensive rebound momentarily, but Cleveland State comes away with it, and Dixon... So Fisher going to slow it down for the Cougars. Under nine minutes in the first half. Roan State by three, 25-22. Fisher all the way down. No foul call. He wanted it. Ball out of bounds. Knocked away by Roan State. Cleveland State will keep it. And they will inbound as uh, Roan State going to sub uh, somebody in. Boy, Fisher wanted a foul there. Yeah, it came with a hard fall, but it was a block by Jordan. 8.47 first half. Going to inbound it to uh, Terman, who just checked in. Back to Fisher. Fisher, another long three. Missed it. He hit two before. Now we have a jump ball call, and it's going to stay with Cleveland State. Roan State forced that jump ball, and Cleveland State will inbound again. Fisher will inbound underneath their own basket. 25-22, Roan State the lead, intercepted, knocked out of bounds. The last touch by Roan State. And again for the third time in about the last 
three seconds. Cleveland State will inbound. Fisher will inbound the ball, and now they're having a conversation. The referees are conversing. I noticed uh, Greg Guerin uh, called. Uh, he was one of the refs the first game. I see my buddy Ed Coates is in the building. He played in this tournament many, many, many years ago. As the Cougars will inbound it. Going to be Fisher again running the point for Cleveland State. They trail by three. Working the opposite side. Now back to the top of the key in Fisher. Fisher will go to Young. Back across away. That's a three, and it's good. Darius Terman for Cleveland State. We're tied at 25. Close to eight minutes to go in the first half. Jordan again for Roan State. No good. Ball is loose. Cleveland State will have it. Tied at 25. Just under eight minutes in the first half. Live from Cleveland State. The men's championship game. TCCAA conference tournament. Cougars near side. It's going to be Young. Young top of the key. Fisher long three. No good. He goes to the ground, no call. Roan State back the other way. Black the ball at the top of the key for the Raiders. He oh. slipped momentarily. Down in the paint looking, he gets Jordan. Jordan now top of the key. He has done very well. Nice pass, down low, slam dunk. Austin Brooks on the dunk for Roan State, 27-25. Roan State leading Cleveland State. Good game in the first 13 minutes of this ball game. First half. Live from Cleveland State Community College. Seven minutes to go. First half. Cleveland State runs on the far side. They'll go down in the corner. All the way down. Ball is loose momentarily. Out of bounds. Last touched by Roan State. What are you seeing here, Cameron? A lot of quick action. Cleveland State hitting their threes, which is good news for them going forward. And they're playing good defense up front, but they're not letting the shot clock drain. They're, going to, they're getting down the court, and they're shooting quick. Cougars will inbound underneath their own basket. They'll go out to the top of the key and Terman. Terman will go back to Person. Person's check back in. Now they're going to have Young three-pointer. No good. Rebound Roan State. They'll come away with it. Black brings it across the timeline. Black down in the paint. And we have double dribble, I believe. That's a charge. You got a charge. foul. Oh, I see. Okay. So that is an offensive foul against Roan State and uh, Damari Black. Cleveland State takes over 6.35 first half. They trail 27-25, trailing Roan State. And pleased to bring you all the action on Talk 101.3, the buzz for the Cleveland State games, and Mix 104.1 WCLA on Facebook, which is powered by Cleveland State. Person will go back. That's a three-point try, no good off the front rim. Offensive rebound. Will come down to Young, and now Person will run the offense for Cleveland State. Down around six minutes to go on this first half. Xavier and Young, these teams are tired. They are playing uh, once again here. They've been playing, uh, started this tournament on Friday. Near side, Young. Young will go back down to Terman all the way, kicked it out, but a foul is called. And they get an offensive foul. Yep. Offensive foul will be charged against Jonathan King for Cleveland State. Going to go back to Roan State. <coughs> 5.50 to go first half. Didn't see the call. Didn't know if it was a charge or a blocking, but they called the charge on him. 27-25, Roan State the lead. And the ball. 5.45 to go. Clock running first half. The uh, TCCAA men's championship. Shot rejected. Jordan shot rejected for Roan State. He comes back with it, though. Going to dump it back out. Two-point try. Good. That's uh, Kendon Reeves for Roan State. Extends the Raider lead to 4, 29-25 over Cleveland State. 5.20 to go first half. Cougars the ball. They'll run the offense near side. Back to Person. He tried that near side. Now he's going to go back to Young. Young down low. Shot is no good. He got his own rebound. That is Delano, or excuse me, Delano Walker with the points. Nice job right there by Cleveland State getting that offensive rebound. 
29-27. Roan State the lead in the ball. Under five minutes, first half. We're live from Cleveland State Community College. A lot of folks here. All the way down, ball rejected by Cleveland State. Rejection by Dixon. Here comes the Cougars. Back to Dixon. Good. We are tied again, 29-29. 4.25 to go first half. For a run for Cleveland State right now. Three-point try, no good. Rebound, Cleveland State, they have it. Near side to King. King all the way down. King layup is good! And the Cleveland State Cougars have taken their first lead, 31-29. With four minutes in the first half, here's a three-point try. Roan State, no good, but they get the offensive rebound. They'll reset the offense. Jordan, who was so prolific in the opening moments. Now down low pass, layup good. Kendon Reeves on the two-point lay-in down low. We're tied at 31, 340 till halftime. Both these teams are moving the ball very quick, Steve. Cougars with it. Person will go near side and Young. They'll run the offense. Person now goes to the far side on the wing. Going to try a long three. It's no good off the back rim. Rebound comes down to Jordan for Roan State. Jordan keeps the ball. Jordan, dribble drive. Nice pass. Shot no good, but a foul. Beautiful pass by Jordan. And going to the line will be Kendon Reeves. Been a big presence down low for the Raiders of Roan State. We're it, tied at 31, 316 to go first half. He, he has been a big presence down low, especially since Austin Brooks has not been able to play a lot in this game. Uh, Kenan Reeves, a nice sub. He's done a great job for them. Speaking of the Raiders, Cleveland High School will know at 6 o'clock who and when they will play in the Boys State Tournament next week. First free throw for Roan State's Reeves is good. 32-31, Roan State grabs the lead back, 316 in the first half. Live from Cleveland State, we've crossed the half-hour mark at 4.31. You're listening to Talk 101.3 The Buzz. You're watching Mix 104.1 WCLA on Facebook. Both free throws good for Reeves, for Roan. So Cameron, they're going to they're gonna do the high school boys draw for the state tournament at 6 o'clock. Is that 6 right? 6 o'clock, yes, sir. Uh, actually, they'll draw it at 6 p.m., and we'll know the brackets following. The Bradley Central High School Bearats play in the state tournament Thursday, 11 a.m. Eastern, 10 Central, Mix 104-1. you got to download the Mix 104-1 app. You can listen anywhere in the world. Here's a three-pointer for Cleveland State. No good. And they get their own rebound. Terman on the rebound. That'll reset with person. Get that app, by the way, at mymix1041.com. One touch listening to this station. Talk 101.3 as well as Mix 104-1. As Cleveland State on offense, 2.40 to go in the first half. Roan State by two in this men's championship game of the conference tournament. Winner goes to Kansas. We're not in Kansas anymore. Down low they go, and a foul is called. Offensive foul against Cleveland State. And that's going to go against Xavier Young. Yeah, that's a tough call. <clears throat> but an offensive foul, it'll be a turnover. Dickie Murray will uh, give it over to Jordan for... Uh, Roan State, they're going to inbound 227 in the first half. Roan State leading 33-31 over Cleveland State Community College. A lot of people here. They've done a tremendous job at Cleveland State hosting this conference tournament. Worked very hard on it. See my friend Tracy right here. Done a great job herself. Three-pointer is good. It's that man again. Jordan James once again. Jordan. Oh, they're going to call it a two. Now they say it was a two. He stepped on the line. 35-31. Roan State the lead. That was a long, about as long a two as you could have in basketball. 2.10 to go. First half clock running. Cleveland State the ball. Left to right as you listen. Go top of the key. And back near side they go. Terman now back to the top of the key. Side of the offense is Dixon. They're going to get everybody involved here. Person the ball. Under two minutes in the first half. All the way. Explosion down low. And a foul. Going to go to the line for two. And the foul goes against Roan State. It's going to be for Cleveland State. Delano Walker to the line. Not a lot of fouls have been called in this first half. No one's in the bonus yet. And uh, 
little shaken up there was uh, Kayvon Hill for the Roan State Raiders, coached by Randy Nesbitt. Randy's here wearing a nice aqua blue coat, by the way. First free throw, no good. That's the uh, first free throw Cleveland State's missed. Delano Walker, Cleveland State. Our score, 35-31. Roan State leading Cleveland State. Cleveland State at the line for the second free throw with 154 in the first hand. Second free throw, good. 35-32. Roan State the ball. And the lead of three. Jordan all the way down. He's going to take it all the way. Shot no good. Rebound down to Cleveland State. Kick it out to Person. Person will bring it back up. 135, first half. Person all the way. He's going to try to pass it. It's intercepted. Numbers for Roan State. Tomahawk jam is good. Ho, ho. Wait a second. Lou Jerome with a tomahawk jam for the Raiders of Roan State. 37-32. My goodness. Ball tipped out of bounds by Jordan. Going to stay with Cleveland State. What a slam. That looked like you in church league, Cameron. Are you kidding me? <laughs> on a five-foot goal. <laughs> That's it, on a five-foot goal. Cleveland State will inbound. 116 to go. First half of competition. 37-32. Roan State the lead, Cleveland State the ball. They'll work the far side. And now going to go to the top of the key and Fisher. Fisher will have it near side. He's hit a couple of threes. Dumps it down low. Shot is no good. Fighting for it, working for it, moving for it. Foul, no good. As it goes down low, that's going to be going to the line is Maurice Dixon. This is uh, one player that Dr. Bill Seymour mentioned prior to the game. Dixon to the line to shoot two. 102 to go, 102 to go. First half, 37-32, Roan State. Want to, give a, want to give an update. Black's got three fouls for Roan State already. Okay, so uh, we go to the line here with Dixon. Dixon shooting two, 102 to go in the first half. First free throw, good. <laughs> Championship game, TCCAA on talk. 101.3 The Buzz and the Mix 104.1 WCLE Facebook page, which is powered by Cleveland State Community College. More than 31,000 of you follow us. We appreciate that. Thanks for watching, and thanks for listening. We're going to be, uh, of course, uh, halftime. Going to go to the halftime report. We'll be joined once again by Dr. Bill Seymour, president of Cleveland State. Here's Dixon. Little shoulder shake on the second, on the second free throw. It's good. <laughs> That's pretty good. He learned that from Seymour. 37-34. <laughs> our score. Roan State. The uh, got to call time out here, with 56 seconds to go until halftime. 37-34, Roan State the lead. They'll have the ball as they take it across the 10-second line. Cameron, what do you think here at this juncture? This is a, bit, a great crowd, first of all, by the way. Great crowd here today. And Roan State, this game has been a hard-fought battle with both teams. They're hitting correct. They're hitting threes at the right time. Not only are they hitting threes at the right time, they're getting a nice job inbounding. The fouls haven't been bad. There's no one in the bonus, and we're under a minute to play, so there have been a ton of fouls called, and the refs are letting them play physical in this championship game. I say my buddy Ed Coates is here uh, today. Ed uh, suffered a stroke, as uh, his wife Sylvia and been very public about, but I'm so glad to see Ed is here. Ed was my uh, t-ball coach, actually. Goes back to the beginning of Cleveland State. Glad to see we ripped Bartolo away from the concession stand for once. That's good. So uh, Roan State will inbound under a minute. 55 seconds and counting first half. We got a long three. James Jordan, no good. But they get their own rebound on the air ball. And Roan State will keep it 45 seconds till halftime. Working the near side here, leading by three. Down low, nobody home. Tries to save it in and does. Three on the shot clock. Cleveland State tipping it around one second. They didn't get it off. They didn't get it off. It was no good anyway. Go back to Cleveland State. Nice defense right there by Cleveland State. 31 seconds until halftime. Cleveland State, the ball trails by three, 37-34 in this TCCAA Men's Championship game. Motlow State won the Women's Championship in our first session this afternoon over Chattanooga State. Cleveland State Community College hosting this tournament. 20 seconds to go in county. Cleveland State, the ball, Fisher the ball. He's hit a couple of threes earlier. 15 seconds, the clock rolls. Let's see how they move here. They're going to go right side, Walker. Walker back to Fisher. Seven seconds. Six seconds, Fisher. Fisher going to take a three, blocked. 
Two seconds. Jordan will throw it up one second down low. He did not get it off. It's no good. We go to halftime with Roan State leading. Did they call a foul? They got a foul here. Referees are talking to Lee Sigliano. Hang on. Hang did we, on. Did we get a foul, even if it's a charge? Referees are talking. Let's see. Gary Oinby, the public address announcer. <laughs> now they're leaving the court, so the, the teams are leaving. I don't know if they got a foul there, I don't think. I don't All think right. they did. We go to halftime, 37-34, Roan State. And uh, we're joined now by uh, Dr. Bill Seymour, president of Cleveland State Community College. What did you think of the first half? Well, i got to tell you, Steve, this is really um, uh, similar to the other three games that Cleveland State's played already in this tournament. They've been close in the first half, and then they come on with a big second half. So if they stay true to form, uh, I'll be happy at the end of this game. Well. You've talked about it. Cleveland State's really surprised a lot of people, really, as has uh, Roan State, to get to this championship game. Yeah, they, I've seen every game both teams have played, and they've really been uh, inspired. And when you get in a tournament like this, it's one and done. And if you lose, you go home. So uh, you see something from these players that you don't necessarily see during the season. Um, what I saw in the first half is Roan State, I can't wait to see the stats. They've been shooting lights out. <clears throat> And even though they have been uh, shooting so well, uh, here come the stats, the uh, Cleveland State has stayed pretty tight. So uh, I think that's pretty good. And it, it really is very similar to the other games that we've had uh, this weekend. So we'll see what happens in the second half, right? Yes, we will. I we see get... stats. I love stats. Thank you, buddy. Get the stats right here. Well, Doc, uh, we'll let you uh, kind of digest those for a second there and then maybe uh, make some comments uh, about that, I see our old buddy uh, Ryan Struther is here with uh, Workout Anytime. And uh, uh, we are really uh, glad to be here, Cleveland State. This is the final game of this uh, TCCAA tournament. And a big thanks to uh, Cleveland State. They have uh, partnered uh, with WCLE, Mix 1041 uh, Video Productions, and uh, also our, our radio productions as well over the last uh, several days. Well, Doctor, uh, what, what stands out to you? Well, the, the guy that's really hot um, for Roan State is uh, James Jordan. Uh, this guy was producing. He hit the first four shots in the game and uh, put uh, Roan State up on top, so that really made a difference. I'm looking at uh, the shooting by period and field goals for um, um, Cleveland State. It's 35.5%, 33%. They're 5 for 15 from the three-point line, uh, Roan State is shooting 47% field goals, and they're uh, three of nine from field goals. So their shooting slowed off, slowed a little bit over the first half. Um, for uh, Cleveland State, I'm not used to reading these goal sheets, but um, we've got uh, jo uh, Jonathan King with 10 points uh, in the first half, and then uh, Austin Fisher with, with six. So um, pretty even scoring on Cleveland State side. And then uh, in addition to James Jordan for uh, Roan State, we also see eight points from uh, Kendall Reeves, number 15, and then seven points by uh, Demare Black. Um, so, but here you've got 37-34, uh, Roan State leading here in the first half, or at the half. Um, but in a championship game, you know, you're still kind of filling each other out. So not a terribly high scoring affair, uh -huh. but I think that'll change a lot in the second half. Bill, I, I, while we have you here, um, gosh, there's so much to talk about with Cleveland State Community College. I want to kind of take a wide shot here a little bit. And, uh, and let's talk about a couple of things. Okay. Uh, it's been a really big six months for Cleveland State. Uh, you rallied the community and, and the community campaign that was just incredible. Uh, $25 million uh, to go to the new uh, uh, science building and other, other things here. Uh, then last night... Uh, Governor Bill Lee announcing that, uh, you know, uh, another, what, 14, 17 million, something like that. Well, I mean, you know, when it's got 14, <laughs> something like but that. But your new Athens uh, location, this has really been a big, big time in the history of Cleveland State. Yeah, there's a lot going on, and, and it's not all buildings, but Cleveland State has, had, has not had new buildings since 1974. So 
for us to sustain the work of our college for the next 50 years, we needed to make sure that we got into that ball game. So to get a $25 million project uh, in this current uh, fiscal year, uh, we're doing the planning for that building. We'll break ground this summer and we'll see the new Health Science Center come out of the ground. Uh, what was in the governor's budget last night is a project um, that is a, a collaborative effort between the Tennessee College of Applied Technology in Athens and Cleveland State. <coughs> Shouldn't cough into the mic. Oh, um, right. yeah, hit the cough button. That's but almost fine. 18 million dollars, and for a new facility, and this will allow us to have a total new facility in Athens, as opposed to a facility that we're renting. It'll give us more space. It'll allow us to have more students, more full-time faculty, to offer more degrees that students can complete in Athens, which will really help us in the northern part of our county. So that's been exciting. We'll see all kinds of uh, physical activity going on. But what I'm most excited about is the improvement in the success of our students. We have more than doubled our um, graduation rate wow. in the last five or six years, wow. which is huge. Uh, yeah. Even when enrollments are kind of declining throughout community colleges across the country, we're kind of trending in a different direction. Uh, Cleveland State had the largest increase in enrollment in TBR both last fall and this spring. Wow. Uh, up almost 9% in the fall, up almost 12%. Uh, in the spring Wonderful. and so uh, everything is going the right direction and also what people don't see in the governor's budget we get funded totally based upon outcomes and uh, we're in the top two of the schools this year in terms of our performance outcomes and that's going to bring about 1.1 additional million dollars coming to Cleveland State uh, this next year than we have this year which will allow <laughs> us to invest even further uh, into the programs that help students succeed. We're joined by Dr. Bill Seymour, the president of Cleveland State, who has, of course, uh, worked a, a months and months getting ready for this tournament and has really pulled off a tremendous tournament. Uh, something coming up, we'll be in this building again in a few weeks, March 28th, uh, for the uh, Community First Gala, which has really become a tradition now in this community. I think it's, the what, the third, no, it's year number four. I know you've got to be looking forward to that. Yeah, this is our biggest event of the year besides us here today. This yeah. is pretty good. But our, our biggest event, our biggest fundraiser, but also it's big because we really make sure that we celebrate people in our community who exemplify the ideal of always putting community first. So we've got about 11 different folks who are going to receive awards in different areas, truly outstanding people. It's inspiring to come and see them recognized and hear them talk about how, how and why they give back to the community. So. That's March 28th. We're still looking for sponsors. We're still looking for table uh, sales, or you can just buy tickets by coming to the Cleveland State uh, website, but there's still time to do that. And um, we transform this gym yeah. into something that you will not recognize as an athletic facility. It really becomes a, a beautiful um, night, great food, good entertainment from the Cleveland Orchestra. Um, and uh, so if, if you want to come to something that's really special and the only – program in our area that provides um, awards to really anybody in our community um, that does great things. Uh, this is the place to be on March 28th. Yeah, it's, uh, so go to the Cleveland State uh, website, uh, call Cleveland State, get more information. It's such a great night. Anything else you want to mention that's happening uh, just generally here uh, on campus? Oh, man. I mean, I know there's a lot. Yeah, well, I live and breathe it every day, um, but it is really special for us to have the opportunity to host uh, this tournament. We only get to do it once every 10 years, and we take it on as uh, something that we do for the Tennessee Board of Regents and for the 10 member uh, colleges, and I appreciate the, uh, the positive comments I'm getting from my colleagues uh, throughout um, the state. But uh, we can talk about this game some yeah, more. Yeah, let's do it. We've only got about... Six minutes or so to the second half. Well, you look at the score. Uh, Cle uh, Cleveland State's down by three points. The score is 37 to 34 with Roan State up. But you see some differences here on the stats. Uh, points from turnovers. Roan State has scored 10 points from turnovers. Cleveland State, zero. Hmm. So that's pretty yeah. big in this game. Scoring in the paint. Uh, Roan State, 18 points. Uh, Cleveland State, 10. Um, and so Roan State is playing um, a zone defense. And Cleveland State's having a hard tried, hard time penetrating uh, in to get some easy buckets. That's just not happening uh, for Cleveland State. They're getting most of their points uh, from outside. They've hit uh, five three-pointers um, in the game, so half their points are coming uh, from the, the, the three-point uh, area. So um, 
it's tough. Our, our team loves to play man-to-man, -man, uh, but they're not getting a chance to do that today with Roan State playing zone. We are uh, at halftime, and again, 37-34, uh, Roan State leading Cleveland State uh, here at the half. We're joined by Dr. Bill Seymour, president of Cleveland State. What else you got? Well, Steve. Oh, I thought you had something else. Well, there's all kinds of stats here, but I think we, we covered them pretty yeah. good. Uh, Roan State leading by three points here at half. But like I was saying before, um, I've watched every game of both teams, and um, Cleveland State has particularly been strong in the second half. They just get a different energy. Uh, shots start dropping. You see more three-pointers. And um, you'll really see Delano Walker is really – our best player uh, overall, and if he gets hot from the three-point line, um, <coughs> that's what Cleveland State's looking for. Cleveland State Community College, the Cougars coming uh, back onto the court now, and uh, they are uh, entering. We expect uh, Roan State. Hey, uh, the girls of uh, the uh, women's uh, game earlier yeah. uh, won by uh, Motlow State. Uh, no. Excuse me. Uh, sorry, buddy. Sorry. Walter State. Walter uh, State. I'm sorry. Yeah, they. Uh, that was a fairly low-scoring game. It was like in the <coughs> low 50s. And uh, I noticed during that game that both teams were fairly low energy. If you think about it, the, the women in the championship game were playing their third game in four days. Wow. The men here today are playing their fourth game in five days. And so it really takes a toll, uh, even if it's a championship game and everything's on the line. So um, it's probably good to remind folks that the winner of this game goes on to the NJCAA. It's the National Junior yeah. um, uh, College Athletic Association. And uh, their national tournament starts soon. And the winner of this tournament has an automatic bid to that tournament. In uh, Hutchison, Kansas. So uh, going over to uh, Kansas, a three-point separation. A very exciting uh, first half between uh, Cleveland State and Roan State. We're at Cleveland State Community College and the Al Quentin Lane Gymnasium. And you said uh, Dr. Lane was here uh, last weekend, I believe, this past weekend. He was. Uh, one thing I was thinking about, and I haven't thought this far, it's one game at a time, even for our presidents, but um, yeah. we don't budget for national tournaments. Oh. Um, no, we, we budget for our conference uh, tournament, yeah. and uh, we're probably going to save a little bit this year because we're home. Um, but traveling a team to, uh, to Kansas, we'll find a way to do it. One way or the other, we'll make it happen, and we'll look forward to going because uh, it's a great opportunity, not only for our team and our coaches, but also the whole school. Well, you've done the uh, school proud uh, with this tournament. Your entire, uh, your entire crew that has uh, worked, I know, very hard. It takes a lot to host a tournament like this. It does, and uh, we started working about six months ago trying to get uh, things in line. Uh, we recruit all kinds of volunteers. We've got people who are bringing out uh, uh, desserts to go in the hospitality room, uh, sponsors that we've gotten. Uh, we do want to thank uh, Bowwater Credit Union, uh, who's been a sponsor for us, as well as uh, Smith Family oh, McDonald's. Mark Smith is an alum and good friend and a trustee on our foundation board, and so we're always thankful for the support that he provides. But uh, those two companies particularly uh, stepped up and helped us this year. All right, we are uh, getting ready uh, for the second half, about 90 seconds away or so. And uh, you've done uh, you've done radio in your career over the years. Yeah, I was at Maryville College for almost 15 years. And uh, me and my buddy, George DeBobby, uh did radio. I was uh, more of the color man but then kind of graduated to play-by-play. -play. And then when I was working at Jackson State in West Tennessee, uh, I did the, the PA announcing for, for them. So I got to know a lot of these teams uh, and the coaches. And um, it's just something I've enjoyed over the years. Yeah, there's no doubt. Uh, as uh, we're getting ready for the second half here, it's the TAA <coughs> uh, men's championship game. Walter State won the women's title earlier and now uh, Roan State again. They have a lead, three points, 37-34, uh, as we get ready for the second half. Well, maybe you can join us. Uh, well, you're going to be down there post game, so. Yeah, I got to give out the trophies. I know. My, uh, as president of the conference, I'll hand out the trophies. But you know, I've had a dream that I would hand that gold trophy to the Cleveland State Cougars. 
So the dream's still alive, and we're looking forward to it. But thanks for having me up thanks, here. Thanks, Doc. Yeah. Thanks for everything. We really appreciate it. And uh, Dr. Bill Seymour, president, Cleveland State Community College, a very uh, successful run. Uh, Cameron, you've been here for uh, several days as well, along with uh, Dwayne Williams and uh, and others, and uh, this has been a great tournament. It has been a great tournament. I'd say congratulations. Great job by Cleveland State, Dr. Bill Seymour. Their hospitality has been fantastic. They've done a nice job with everybody. They have uh, shown us great, tremendous respect, and uh, yeah. we've got one more half to play to see if Cleveland State can be number one and win the TCCAA Region 7 champions. You know, Cameron just brought me a new water, and I have a feeling it's out of the toilet. So I just, I'm just going to guess. But uh, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Got a lot of friends uh, here. We've known a long time at Cleveland State, and I, I have not worked a game here since about 1994. So uh, it's been about 25 years since I have done a game here. My buddy Dickie Murray and I, and You're Dickie's here. You're a pretty young guy, aren't you? Oh yeah, I was, had to be driven here. No joke. All right. Here we go, Roan State will open in the second half as uh, we have uh, 20 minutes to decide a champion of the TCCAA Region 7 in the men's championship. Player on the floor there, back up. Roan State, the ball left to right as you listen. They'll come down, shot by Black is good. Roan State extends their lead, five now the lead, five points, 39-34. Roan State, the Raiders leading in the first 30 seconds of the second half. Cleveland State the ball right to left as you listen down to the left hand side. They'll work the offense. Down low. Dump it down low. Shot is no good. Ball up in the air and Roan State comes away with it on a break. See what they do here. All the way down. This is Jordan. Let's see if he gets hot again. He missed his first one of the second half. Cleveland State the ball on the rebound all the way down low shot no good too hard and Roan State the ball again Black will run it Black all the way Black left hand no good but a foul he goes to the ground and he'll shoot two. They got uh, DeMonte Person with a foul for Cleveland State and uh, going to the line is going to be uh, Demary uh, Black who's been uh, very active in this game, especially late in the first half. Does have three fouls as well, so something we have to watch this, uh, this uh, as we're just now getting underway in the second half. Missed the first free throw, 39-34 Roan State, 18-50, just, uh, just getting started second half in the men's championship game. You're listening to Talk 101.3 The Buzz. You're watching Mix 104.1 WCLE Facebook, which is powered by Cleveland State. Second free throw good for Demary Black of Roan State. The Roan State Raiders coached by Randy Nesbitt. And they lead 40-34 to 34 in the championship game. Cleveland State the ball. The fans are getting active across the way, and we have a... Kick ball, I guess. Going to go back to Cleveland State. 18-38 in the second half. Person running the offense for the Cougars. They're the road team, although we're in Cleveland. Fakes the three. Going to leave it with Person. Person near side to Young. Young all the way down. Shot no good. Rebound to Jordan for Roan State. Now to Black. Black the ball. He's on the near side, guarded by Young of Cleveland State. Roan State the ball, leading by six. Opening two minutes of the half, that's a three, no good. Rebound down to Walker for the Cougars. Person runs the offense for Cleveland State, he'll back it out. Drops it down low, now they're gonna work behind the three-point line, down low, nice pass, shot, good, and a foul. That is Maurice Dixon. With two and the hoop and the harm. Nice dish outside by Walker going up. He decided to give it to Dixon. Nice job right there. Old-fashioned three-point play. Dixon will try to make it that uh, three-point play right here with a free throw. Does the shoulder shake. <laughs> I've never seen that. Sec uh, the free throw no good. Comes down to Roan State, 40-36. to 36. Raiders of Roan State lead the Cougars of Cleveland State. 
First couple of minutes of the second half. Jordan shot no good, rebound to Cleveland State. You could be seeing a little fatigue here yes, as we come to the second half. Cleveland State, the ball nearly lost it. Was King, King will dump it down to Person. Person all the way down, shot is good. And Cleveland State draws to within two, 40 to 38. 17, 15 and counting in the second half. Lone State the ball, they have it with Jerome. Jerome had that tomahawk jam earlier. Out to Hill, Hill. Back to Jerome, three-pointer no good. Rebound Cleveland State. This is Walker in the paint all the way, coast to coast. Let me correct that, that's Jonathan King. We're tied at 40, King ties us up. 6-0 run for Cleveland State. Good way to open the second half. Foul called against State. That's uh, going to go against uh, King. How many is that on him? He's got three now. That three on King. Tied. Watch him, too. Tied at 40. Yeah, he's going to be a big guy we have to watch. He's got to come out of the game now. Bradley Central High School, Barrett's in the state tournament Thursday, 11 o'clock. Eastern from Murfreesboro against Lebanon. Mix 104 1. Shot no good, no foul called. Cleveland State comes out with it. All the way down, person to Young. Young, near side, will go to Dixon. Cleveland State runs the offense, 16 25 to go in regulation. Tied at 40 in the TCCAA men's championship game at Cleveland State Community College. On the far side we go. And whistle travel. and a travel against Cleveland State. Go back the other way with Roan State. Our, our advice to you, download the free Mix 1041 app. You can listen anywhere in the world on your phone or mobile device with one touch. Go to mymix1041.com. Download the app presented by Economy Honda Superstore. Listen to all Mix 1041 and Talk 1013 programming. Here's Jordan. For Roan State, long two-pointer, no good. Up and in, and good goes Hill. Kavon Hill, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line for a three-point play potential. Person was called with that foul. Free throw is good. So Roan State extends their lead. 43-40, the Raiders of Roan State leading Cleveland State in this men's championship game of the conference. Cougars the ball outside. That run at Person lost it, but he picks it up, does uh, Walker, and out of bounds going to stay with the Cougars. Cleveland State by three, 15-44 in the in regulation. We're in the second half here. Live from Cleveland State's El Quentin Lane Gymnasium. They're trying to get it in. Can't find anybody. Throws it up. Got it. Dixon the ball. Cougars keep it. Long three-pointer. Person no good. Rebound comes down to Roan State. They'll run with it. They're leading by three. This is Jordan. He's a great shooter, as you know. Jordan all the way down. Jordan shot no good. Up and no good. Cleveland State comes out with it. They'll go near side in person. Person far side. This is Walker, three-pointer, no good. Jordan the rebound for Roan State. Back we go the other way. Jordan all the way down, whistle, foul, and charge. a charge against James Jordan. Well, Cleveland State will get it back, trailing by three, 43-40. 15-13, second half of competition. Quick move in action right here in this half, Steve, and they, most of these points right here are coming from the paint. They're all trying to get inside the paint and dish it right here. Uh, with it being such a close game, it's, wow, it's just been a lot of quick action between these two teams as we are 15-13 to go in this game. Inbounding the ball will be uh, Xavier Young, and he'll go now to Fisher. Austin Fisher's checked in for Cleveland State at point guard. They're going to go down low. That's uh, Terman back in. Swing it to Young near side. Now they'll run the offense right side. 
under 15 in the second half. Here's a three-point try. No good off the side of the backboard. Here's Roan State with a rebound. Black on the rebound. Black all the way. Great steal by Fisher out of bounds. He stripped him and was it going as he was going for the lay in. Quick Austin. hustle on that defense right there by Fisher. Austin Fisher, great defensive play. Roan State will have it. James Jordan going to inbound the ball near side. Or should say right side as you listen. Roan State the ball. And the lead, 43-40. The Raiders of Roan State leading Cleveland State. Outside is Jordan. Jordan all the way. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. No good. Cleveland State the rebound and comes away with it. This will be Austin Fisher, the point guard. Fisher runs the offense. 14 and a half to go, second half. Players moving everywhere over there. Right in front of the bench. Ball is loose. Jordan for Roan State has it. All the way down. Layup good. Roan State extends their lead, 45-40. Down around 14 minutes to go in the regulation second half period at Cleveland State Community College, the final frame of the TCCAA Conference Champ Men's Conference Championship game. Fisher, great pass down low. Shot is no good. Ball is loose, and Black will come up with it for Roan State. Bodies everywhere on the other side. Black. Far side behind the three line, all the way down. Reverse lay in, oh, bounced and no good. Whistles, and we're going to stay here. We have an injury. We have, uh, that is going to be, Kavon Hill is injured for Roan State. Cleveland State's going to keep the ball. What's happening here, Cameron? Yeah, well, uh, he fell down hard on the floor when the bodies were all over after uh, the last lay-in, and then uh, they'll stoppage a play to make sure he doesn't get trampled on it coming back on the other side. We have a, a trainer going over as uh, Hill is down for Roan State. He's uh, been very athletic, has played a very good game so far. Not much in the way of points, but he has, he's, had a, uh, he's had a good game here. And he is down. We hope he's okay. Looked like maybe a, an ankle or a knee, something like that, just looking at the, uh, the live action. You're listening to Talk 101.3 The Buzz. You're watching... Mix 1041 WCLE on Facebook. Cameron Bryant, Dwayne Williams. We've had Terry Evans involved. Gary Ornby's been the voice of the tournament in the in the uh, L. Quentin Lane Gymnasium here at Cleveland State. 45-40. It's Roan State leading Cleveland State with 13.40 to go in the second half. And uh, don't forget, a couple of reminders. We'll have Tennessee men's basketball against Mississippi State tonight at 9 o'clock tip. Here on Talk 101.3, The Buzz, presented by Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union. That'll be right here. Hill is going to be able to get off in his own power, but he's uh, going to limp a little bit. Then, uh, if that wasn't enough, Lee University will have, uh, they're going to open a GSC conference tournament play. The women will be right here in Cleveland at 7 o'clock tonight. Lee University's Paul Data Walker Arena. The Lee men will travel. And so it's postseason basketball. For our local schools, high school, of course. Bradley in the state tournament, the Bradley girls on Thursday, 11 a.m. Eastern on Mix 1041 on the Mix 1041 app. Download free, mymix1041.com. Cleveland State the ball. Back to live action. Trailing by five. Shot no good. Rebound comes down to Jordan of Roan State. That man again, he's been everywhere. James Jordan has the ball for Roan State. Going to be uh, behind the three-point line. He's going to take that three. It's no good air ball. Showing Cameron, we said it earlier, showing some fatigue. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, he's he's been my, the guy that's taken most of the charge, but missed that one completely. Don't, no, and uh, it'll be Cleveland State basketball. They have it. 45-40, Roan State leading Cleveland State. The men's championship game of the TCCAA Conference Tournament. Winner goes to Kansas next week, the national tournament. Outside, three-pointer, tried it. it. Went in for the layup, no good. Rebound off to Jordan again in Roan State. They're going to go to Black near side. Roan State, the ball left to right as you listen. Under 13, 12.45 and counting. Oh, nice play there. Missed the shot, though. Black for Roan State. Cleveland State, the rebound. Here's Person. Person. That three-pointer, good! Carey Pratt! And he brings Cleveland State to within two. 45-43, Rome the lead and the ball. 
12 20 to go in the second half. Black all the way down, rejected. Down low, slam dunk for Cleveland State Dixon. We have a tie ball game, 45, 12 minutes in regulation. Great action here. Absolutely. Ball is loose momentarily. Roan State will hang on. This will be Black the ball. Now Jordan. Jordan the ball. He's going to try another three. That's no good. Ill-advised shot there. Foul against Roan State. Cleveland State the other way. Black's taking a little bit too much, uh, a little too quick with the shots right now. And Cleveland State's getting the rebound and got the momentum on their side right now. Roan State oh. wants a timeout. Oh, this crowd is into it. We are tied at 45 in the TCCAA Men's Championship game at Cleveland State Community College. 45, 11, 49 to go in the second half and regulation. The way this one's going, we'll say regulation. You never know what may happen here. Cleveland High School boys basketball team, the Raiders, advanced to the boys state tournament. Last night, first time in 14 years at the Raider Arena. They will be in the boys state tournament next week. They'll find out as... Cameron told us here in less than one hour who and when they will play next week. Yeah, next week uh, we'll know they'll either play Wednesday night or Thursday morning next week, and uh, we'll see which side of the bracket they're on. Uh, really, the biggest threat right now in that state tournament is Memphis East, as uh, they're from uh, that West Tennessee area, but Oakland uh, also in the tournament with Bearden and Sevier County from our side. So uh, Cleveland, they've got a tough competition ahead, but they are a very good basketball team. Oh, they're into it. We've got a lot of people here from our uh, community, from Cleveland State. See a lot of our old friends here. Cleveland State, the ball, under 12, 11.45 in the second half. Tied at 45, Cleveland State, the ball. They'll go near side. This is Walker. Walker will go back to Person. Person outside, another three for Pratt. It's good! 8-0 run for Cleveland State right now. Carey Pratt is second three, and... The last few moments, and Cleveland State has their biggest lead in quite some time, maybe the ball game, 48-45. 11.32 to go in the second half. Roan State the ball, Black will bring it up. Black will, well, I thought he was gonna leave it, he'll keep it. Double team momentarily, Black now to Jerome. Jerome fakes the three. Kicks it out, stole it away. Person for Cleveland State on the break, all the way. Rejected, put back up and rolling, rolling, rolling. On the river, it's good. Cleveland State up by five, and now a foul is called against the Cougars. This is gonna go on the other way, go on the other way against Walker. Got tangled up, and Cleveland State called for the foul. My well, goodness, what action here. I don't, absolutely, that's Walker's second foul. The uh, Raiders of Roan State will inbound underneath their own basket. And they get it in to Black. Black will go back over to Brooks. Running outside, Jordan. He's missed the last three three-pointers he's attempted. He's going to try a two-pointer in the paint. No good. He's gone stone cold here in the last few minutes. Cleveland that's State the ball. Good news for Cleveland State that Jordan's gone cold. Cougars lead by 5, 10, 40 to go in the ball game. Foul is called against Roan State. That's going to go against Brooks, Austin Brooks. 10, 39 in the game. In the second half, 50 to 45, Cleveland State. Hey, officially, they're the guest here. Technically, they're the guest, but they're playing in their old Quentin Lane Gymnasium. They've been in for so many years, 50 years that is. Person all the way down, gonna kick it out. Shot is no good, out of bounds, gonna stay with Cleveland State, last touched by the Raiders of Roan State. The shot clock's at nine seconds, so they'll inbound and get rid of it pretty quickly. Person inbound for the Cougars. Underneath their own basket. Come near side and uh, just checking in was right for the first time. Pratt again, he's been the hot hand. Now they're gonna go outside. Ball is partially blocked. Shot clock goes off. 10-15 in the game. Cleveland State leads 50 to 45. Here's Jordan for Roan. Outside to Black. Black run the offense of the Raiders of Roan State. Trailing by five now. They've led most of the way. 
Outside is Black. That's a three. No good. Rebound comes down to DeMonte Wright. Cleveland State the ball. The coaches of uh, Nesbitt, Coach Nesbitt of Rhone State, wanted to travel against Cleveland State. Not going to happen. Under 10 minutes to go. 9.45 and counting. 50 to 45. Cleveland State leads and the ball here. TCCAA men's championship game at Cleveland State Community College. They're going to go down low. Go down low, shot no good, rejected by Brooks. He's going to get it back though, shot good by Wright. Devontae Wright who just checked in, and Cleveland State has their biggest lead of the championship game of seven. And a oh. foul called against the Cougars. Could have gone either way, it looked like. Jerome is fouled down there. I yeah, called a blocking foul right there, and you're right about them. They, they're having this run right now at Cleveland State. They have just kept it, and they've kept it going the entire time. They're on a 12-0 run, Steve. Wow. 52-45, Cleveland State up 7, 9.24 to go in the second half. And they lead here. Winner goes to Kansas next week. Hutchison, Kansas, as Dr. Seymour told us. An exciting time on this campus at Cleveland State Community College. So much going on in the news, of course, last night with the Governor's State of the State address as uh, Cleveland State will have a new cooperative campus in Athens, Tennessee. There's a two-pointer good. And that makes it a five-point lead now, 52-45. Cleveland State the ball in the lead, getting close to nine minutes to go in this game. Person running the ball outside, the offense for the Cougars. He's going to try a three here. It's no good. Ball loose. Rebounded by Black for Roan State. Roan State the ball and running under nine. Under nine minutes, here's Black. Black all the way, lost the ball. Ball is loose, Black the ball. And they'll fight for it, jump ball or a foul. What are they calling here? We'll go well, back to one, Cleveland State, but it's a jump. One ball's got a foul, one ref's got a jump ball, they're going to call jump ball. Going to go back to Cleveland State if it's a jump ball. And we have a jump ball is called, so Cleveland State will get it back 8.49 in the game. Cleveland State Community College leading by five. Talk 101.3, the buzz on the Mix 104.1 WCLE Facebook page, which is powered by Cleveland State all the time. And yes, there's power in the blood. And Cleveland State Community College has the ball. Person, the uh, point guard now, top of the key. Person leads it now, 8.40 to go in the ball game. Person out of the right-hand side. He's going to go toward the uh, now the near side. He still has the ball here. Still has the ball here. Looking for somebody. He's got... Pratt, Pratt who's got the hot hand right now, he's going to try another three, Pratt, good! Yeah! That is his third three-pointer, and Cleveland State has opened up an eight-point lead, their biggest of the night. Roan State has it. This is Jerome, bounce pass beautifully done, but a oh. foul call against Cleveland State down low, he's going to shoot two. That could have went either way right there, but they're going to call Pearson with a foul. Exciting action and uh, big time, uh, big time feeling here. Great, uh, great feeling inside the uh, Lane Gymnasium at Cleveland State as now they're going to have uh, Roan State sub in a couple of players again. Reeves back in with three fouls, I believe. And they're going to sub in Hill as well. Roan State the ball trailing now, trailing by eight. 55-47 Cleveland State getting close to the eight-minute mark of the second half. Here's Jordan for three. No good. And now Reeves on the rebound shot, no good. Rebound comes down to right for Cleveland State. They're running. Person back outside. Shot no good. Ball is loose. And tried to get a draw foul. Could not. Cleveland State person comes back with it. Back outside to Pratt. Is this number four? Oh! Yes! And they count the foul. And a foul. Pratt. Gary <laughs> oh. Pratt has exploded. And he's going to try for the four-point play. My word, Kerry Pratt. This place has exploded. Kerry Platt, Pratt, excuse me, is at four three-pointers. Or is that five? That's four. That's four. And he's going to try now for a four-point play. The free throw's good. A four-point play. 12-point lead for Cleveland State. For Kerry Pratt, 7.44 in the game. They have absolutely come off the deck here, and this Cleveland State fan base is excited. They've done a great job hosting this tournament. Came out of nowhere. I believe it's the seventh seed yes. to get here. Reeves, good for Roan State. That's their first points 
in quite some time. It is, yes. Cleveland State's on a 19-4 run right now. Wow. 7-15 and counting. In the second half of the men's championship game of the conference, Cleveland State the ball. Pratt again, just give it to him again. <laughs> My goodness. Terman, he is determined, but no good. Rebound, Cleveland State, shot no good, ball still in the air. Roan State comes away with it. Reeves has the big man, under seven. Under seven minutes, 10-point Cleveland State lead. Here's Roan State outside. This is Black along the baseline. Bodies charge. everywhere, they're gonna charge against, excuse me, Lou Jerome with a charge for Roan State. Cleveland State will get it back. 10 point Cleveland State lead, 646 in the game. Talk 1013, the buzz. Worldwide on the Mix 1041 app, which you can download for free at mymix1041.com. Exciting, exciting evening here at Cleveland State. The final game of what's been a great TCCAA. Uh, region uh, tournament here, their uh, Tennessee Community College Athletic Association tournament, hosted by Cleveland State. Dr. Bill Seymour is the Associ Athletic Association president. He's also president of Cleveland State. Cougars have the ball, near side. Gonna be person. Yeah, now gonna send it down, a little whistle, wave it off, wave it off, traveling against Cleveland State. Took too many steps as he's trying to drive to the basket. 59 49. Cougars lead. The Raiders of Roan State. Roan has the ball. Six and a half in the second half. Jerome the ball. Left hand dribble drive all the way. Whistle and a foul against the Cougars. That's going to go against Delano Walker. That's his fourth foul. I got a shoot here. A one and one. So Lou Jerome will uh, shoot a one and one here. For Roan State. Roan County, Tennessee. 6.25 in the game. First free throw. One and one is good. Front end is good. That draws, uh, that draws Roan State back within single digits here. 59.50. On the Mix 1041 WCLE Facebook page, powered by Cleveland State. Talk 1013, the buzz. Second free throw, no good. Cleveland State, the rebound. Person will bring it up. He's been a very dependable point guard for the Cougars. Terman will go back to Person. We near the six minute mark of the second half. 59 50, Cleveland State, officially the guest here but they're on their home floor. Down low, another travel call here, and I, we got a player for Cleveland State. Looked like he was either poked in the eye, hit in the face or something. That's yeah, Jonathan poked King. in the eye, yeah. Jonathan King, who they call for traveling, but he grabbed his eye there. 6.02 now, we're moving again. Under six minutes, 59-50, Cleveland State the lead. Roan State the ball all the way down, gonna kick it out to Jordan. Jordan a three. No good. Cleveland State the ball again. Running, 5.45 and counting. Second half. Cleveland State leads by nine. They have the ball. Person the ball. He was double teamed momentarily. That's a three-point try by Wright. No good. Rebound comes off to Roan State. They have it once again, 5.25 in the game. Jordan all the way down. He's fouled and he'll shoot two. 59-50, Cleveland State the lead. TCCAA men's championship game. Walter State won the women's championship in the uh, first game here this afternoon. That's Pearson's fourth foul, so Walker and Pearson both have four fouls for Cleveland State. James Jordan to the line. He will shoot two for Roan State. He was a house of fire to start this game. You're listening to Talk 101.3, The Buzz, UT and Mississippi State men at 9 o'clock on the radio, if you're listening to the radio right now. 9 o'clock, first free throw good for Jordan. 
presented by Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union. That's coming up at 9 o'clock. It's a late one in Knoxville. Second free throw for Jordan is good. It's a seven-point game. So Roan State has come off the deck here a little bit and drawn within seven. They're on a 5-0 run. 5-15 and counting to go in the second half. Cleveland State the ball. Fisher back at point guard now for the Cougars. Getting close to five minutes in the second half. Here's Fisher on the far side. Cleveland State 10 seconds on the shot clock. Under five minutes now in the second. Here's Fisher open three-pointer. He's good. Big money shot right there by Fisher. Cleveland State goes back up by 10 points. 62, 52, 445 and counting in the second half. Here's Roan State. Raiders have it. All the way, wave it off and the foul before the shot. Although I believe that'll send them the double bonus. Or close. Roan State will shoot free throws no matter, 436 in the game. 62-52, Cleveland State the lead. That was Pratt, his first foul. One and one coming up for Black. Damari Black, he's been all over the place here. Has it, he still has his three fouls. He's played well in this half to keep the fouls. It's really something, these athletes, these student athletes. One and one, missed the front end. Cleveland State the rebound. They have it. Four and a half in the second half of the men's championship game of the TCCAA. Cleveland State Community College, the host team for this tremendous tournament. And we have a traveling travel. again against Cleveland State here. Yeah, I was trying to dish it to right on the left side, but walked too many. 421 in the game, and Roan State will inbound. Side court, opposite side. The Raiders of Roan State have the ball, and they trail by 10 with about four minutes, getting close to the four-minute mark in the second half. All the way down, the layup good. Cleveland State the ball, four minutes in the second half of the championship. Fisher the ball for Cleveland State, leading by eight. Timeout, Lisa Gliano and the Cougars of Cleveland State, under four minutes. Cameron, what do you got? Well, we're going to check in now. It should be King, Walker, and Pearson coming back in. Walker and Pearson's got four fouls, so we'll have to definitely watch that as we continue going on. But now we're under four minutes, Steve. They're leading by eight. Still a lot of time for Roan State to get back in this game, and free throws are going to be big down the stretch for both teams. Well, don't forget uh, basketball action all over the place. It's that, it's that month, folks. It's March Madness, and we've got it for you in spades between Mix 104-1 and talk 1013 the buzz and you can download the mix 1041 app free of charge and listen on your phone anywhere in the world or any mobile device just go to mymix1041.com and download the free mix 1041 app presented by economy honda superstore cleveland state community college is where we are the l quentin lane gymnasium let's reset 356 in this TCCAA conference men's championship game 62 52 Cleveland State the lead they're the home team they're the host team and they've got the lead by eight with under four minutes to go in regulation Roan State had the lead early and did very well and Cleveland State now has the ball at side court on the uh, far side from our broadcast position. So Cleveland State has the ball in the lead, 62-54. The Cougars leading the Raiders of Roan State. They'll get it into Fisher. Fisher has the ball. He will lead the offense for Cleveland State. Now leave it for Pratt. Pratt back to Fisher, near side. They go down to right, who's out on the post. Post extended, that is. Now outside, this is Fisher. Just hit a three a moment ago. He's hit three tonight. Down low, shot good. Big shot there for Dixon. Three and a half minutes in Cleveland State by 10. Nice job by Wright to get underneath the basket right there to lay in. 
Jordan all the way, good for Roan State. Back to an eight point game, 3.15 to go in the game. That's his first points of the half, Steve. Wow. Cleveland State back the other way with Fisher. Down around three minutes in the second half. 64-56, Cleveland State to lead the ball. Pass down low, out of bounds. Last touch by Cleveland State. Roan will have it again. Down around three minutes here in regulation. TCCAA Men's Championship game at Cleveland State Community College. Winner to Hutchison, Kansas next week for the national tournament. Roan State the ball. That's uh, going to be Black. Black will leave it for Jordan. Jordan over to Hill. Hill top of the key. Hill will go break, great pass down low. And Black saved it in. Black will have it all the way down. Layup is no good. Partially blocked. Cleveland State the ball. They'll go the other way with 240 in the game. Leading by eight. 64-56. Cleveland State the eight-point lead and the ball. Two and a half in the second half. Running the offense's person right in front of the 10 second line there, 225. Person way outside, five on the shot clock, 220. Three on the shot clock, two on the shot clock, one. Gonna go to right for three, no good, and didn't hit the rim. So it is a shot clock violation. It is right there, nice job. A lot of time run off, even though it is a turnover. Dropped it all the way to almost under 215 to play now. And uh, Walker is back in the game for Cleveland State. So but Rome State will have the ball eight. They're down eight with two under 2.15 to play. 2.14 to go in this championship game. Rome State the ball trailing by eight. Jordan the ball out top of the key for Rome State. Left hand dribble drive all the way down. Whoa, what a shot. Circus shot for James Jordan. Six point game, 64-58. Cleveland State under two minutes in the game. Person right in front of the 10 second line. Person guarded out there. Very closely by Black. Person the ball, 145 in the game. Cleveland State the lead in the ball, 140. Two, counting. Ball loose. Cleveland State picks it up, layup good. Terman. Whistle and what do we have here? Timeout, Roan State. That's a full timeout, eight point lead. Cleveland State 66-58, 134 in the game. 134 in the game, a big big opportunity now. Rome State's gonna get the ball back. Cleveland State doing a good job of, even though they are holding the ball for a long time, they're getting the possessions and they're winning and getting buckets. Even though Rome State is answering, Cleveland State's doing the same thing. Now fouls are gonna come into play with a minute and a half left to go. So our score here on uh, Talk 101.3, The Buzz, and uh, the Mix 104.1 WCLE Facebook page, which is powered by Cleveland State, 66-58 Cleveland State Community College. If you're listening to uh, Talk 101.3, The Buzz, and you're looking for great talk programming tomorrow morning, Mike Gallagher at 6 a.m., Glenn Beck at 9. That tomorrow at noon will be followed by Todd Starnes who uh, lived and worked here in Cleveland for a long time, went to Lee University and worked at First Baptist. Then at 1 o'clock, we go to Adam Lowe and the, uh, the Man Up America show, Dave Ramsey at 2 o'clock, the Sports Drive presented by the Center for Sports Medicine, 5 o'clock tomorrow. That's the NASCAR show tomorrow, it is. actually. yep. All right, here we go. Minute and a half, 90 seconds in the championship game. 66-58, Cleveland State, everybody on their feet at least in the student section. Down low, they go to Brooks. Brooks for Roan State. Brooks, his shot is no good. Ball is loose. Cleveland State comes away with it. 1-15, and when does Roan State start fouling? That's the question. <clears throat> one ten in the game. Thought they already might have. First in the ball, Cleveland State, an eight-point lead in this championship. Getting close to a minute. He's wanting to draw that foul, and there it is. 58 seconds. And Roan State fouls DeMonte Person, who will go to the line. Okay, that's their 10th, so double bonus will come up with two shots. This is a 7-8 seed game in the championship. So both teams have persevered throughout this tournament. And it's an eight-point Cleveland State lead. First free throw is good. 
So Cleveland State goes up nine points, 67-58, 58 seconds in the second half. Second free throw is good. 10-point Cleveland State lead, timeout. With 58 seconds in the conference championship game. What a scene here at the Alquint Lane Gymnasium. It, it is a great scene. There's a lot of people here. A great crowd has shown up for this championship game here today for Cleveland State. And in less than a minute, if the score holds, Cleveland State is going to be victorious here today with a 10-point lead here, here at their home floor. Very, very special. A lot of people from Cleveland State who have been here. Guys like Ed Coates, who is here. I uh, see Ed down there. And uh, guys like uh, Paul Bacon, who's just been around here a long time. Richard Bern uh, Richard uh, Murray, Dickie Murray, and you know, on and on here as uh, Mike Policastro, the athletic director here for so many years. Guys, Tony Bartolo, the Sigliano family, guys who have, men and women who have really invested their lives here at Cleveland State. They're very proud today. There's a steal by Cleveland State. Ball out of bounds back to the Cougars. What a scene here at Cleveland State. They lead by 10, 52 seconds in the game, and they'll have the ball. Winner goes to the national tournament in Kansas. This is the TCCAA Men's Championship game. They're gonna get it away without getting a foul. They're gonna be able to waste some clock here. 45 seconds and counting. They do get a foul, 44 seconds. And Cleveland State beginning the sense it the potential here for a men's championship. They played a lot of games over a few days. We've been honored to cover it on um, the Mix 104-1 Facebook page and talk 101-3. Free throw no good. Roan State the ball, 40 seconds. Going to try a three. That's no good. Cougars on the rebound. Cleveland State has it. They'll break away. 30 seconds. Now they'll try to play keep away. I don't know if they're gonna foul or not. They're moving around 20 seconds. Cleveland State's gonna be the champions of this conference. They're not gonna foul. Look at Lee Segliano. He is so happy over there. Oh my, they're jumping around. Now we got a foul. Nine seconds left. Look at the happiness. Cleveland State Community College is going to be the Tennessee Community College Athletic Association champions. What a proud, proud time in history in this great school. And Sigliano going on down the line on the bench, hugging people, free throw good. Cameron, what a scene here. What a scene and a, and a tremendous job to do it on their home floor in this tournament. Second free throw, good. 12 point lead, Cleveland State. Eight seconds, the clock will tick. Five seconds all the way, slam dunk, no good. And 1.1 seconds with the inbound, that is gonna do it. The place is going to erupt. It's over. Oh yeah. If you're listening on the radio, it's a big celebration. If you're watching on Facebook, fans are on the court, confetti's everywhere. What an ending to this tournament, Cleveland State. The TCCAA men's champions at 70-58 over Rome State, the final. Absolutely a great, a great job by Cleveland State on their home floor. They come out victorious today. And they're gonna go on to the next round in the tournament. What a scene at Cleveland State Community College. The men's basketball team led by Lee Sigliano wins the conference, men's conference championship. They advance to Hutchison, Kansas next week to the national tournament. Dr. Bill Seymour already involved. He's very excited that his team 
right here, the president, he will be giving the gold trophy to his team, Cleveland State Community College, as they are going to be the TCCAA champions, Region 7 tournament champions. What a game. And for the fourth time in this conference, fourth time in this tournament, Cleveland State was down at halftime, and they come back in the second half to win the game on another brilliant, brilliant second half. Wow. Again, we, you are, uh, if you're listening to Talk 101.3 The Buzz or you are watching Mix 104.1 WCLE on Facebook, you're seeing a great scene. Here at Cleveland State, the 51st year of existence with so much happening at this college and so much. I, I, the team here is amazing. The staff here is, is, is great. And led by a man who came, I believe, something like six years ago. And uh, that's Bill Seymour. And what a proud moment for him. My friend Robbie O'Brien is uh, either watching or listening. And Robbie tells me that's some kind of scene in Hutchison, Kansas next week. I want to get Cameron, if we can work on getting, I'd like to get Lee Sigliano up here. If we can get him back and maybe uh, Dr. Seymour, they're doing the trophy presentation at the present time. If you're listening on the radio or... There we go, Cleveland State's gonna get the gold trophy. No, they're gonna give it the, the MVP. They're gonna give it MVP to Walker. Here. Yeah. And that's gonna be uh, Delano Walker, the MVP of the tournament. So they are presenting the uh, MVP trophy to walk. I'd love to talk to Lee Sigliano, uh, Cameron, if we can work on that. And, uh, and also uh, get uh, if we can get Dr. Seymour, Mike Policastro as well, if he'd like to come up. Cameron Bryant's going to work on that for us. What a scene here, folks. My goodness. Just a... Tremendous scene. Cleveland State, the seventh seed in this tournament, comes back and wins the championship of their conference tournament, which they've just had so many people work so hard uh, here at Cleveland State, hosting this tournament, all the work that's gone into it. And my goodness, is it is it worth it in spades here tonight as Cleveland State Community College wins that championship. Roan State now. Roan State being awarded the silver uh, trophy. As we speak, they're on the court right now. If you're listening, I know if you're watching, you're seeing this. But hello, Dr. Bacon, Cheryl Bacon. They're, uh, they're right here with us. Great to see Dr. Paul Bacon. Well, I tell you, there's a lot of folks here fo that really are just a lot of, lot of happiness here in the building. Obviously, you feel for Roan State, but my goodness, we're so proud of the Cougars of Cleveland State Community College. So Roan State has now accepted their runner-up trophy. Now it's Cleveland State's turn, and they're lined up to take pictures all over the place. Look at this. Dr. Seymour's holding the gold trophy above his head. Look at this. Oh, what a scene here. This is wonderful. Man, what a scene. Cleveland State, the conference champions, led by Coach Lee Sigliano. Mike Policastro down there. They're going to get a big team picture. Tony Bartolo's been involved here. Tony Bartolo's been involved this college for so many years. My buddy Ed Coates down there. Oh, man. There's Amber Sigliano, Cleveland High Class, about 1993, I think, something like that. See my buddy uh, Ron Barker's over here, Ron. Just a lot of familiar faces, a lot of, a lot of good people here, but a lot of people, folks, I tell you, they're so proud of this college, and they've been here for many, many years. You heard what Dr. Seymour said, maybe at the half, if you were listening or watching, that Dr. Bill Seymour, president of Cleveland State, talking about just the unbelievable momentum at this college over the last uh, few months. They're going to cut the nets down now, as they do, in college basketball. 
Cameron, the cameraman, if you're watching on Facebook, has gone down to try to retrieve some interviews for us. So if you're watching, be, be patient with us. I don't know if I know how to handle this camera or not, but we'll get, uh, we'll get back on it. You're looking there at the half-court line, uh, the half-court area where all this is happening. Cleveland State advances now, as we said, to the national tournament. I'm going to do this. If I mess this up, if you're watching on Facebook, it's my fault. Can you see that okay? I'm a pretty good cameraman, actually. Not bad. Look at that. You guys seeing that? Look at them cut down. the. If you're watching on Facebook, they're cutting the nets down. Got a lot of, lot of our friends down there right now. There's... They're taking turns cutting the nets down. Now, I think what's happening here, well, this would probably be Walter State cutting them down right here. They won the women's championship. Big congratulations to them. Back um, in the first game of the day, in the 4 o'clock hour, Walter State wins the, they beat Chattanooga State to win the women's championship, and then, Cleveland State won the men's championship. I'll take you back there. My camera works not very good, guys. We'll go back to the celebration of Cleveland State. We are, uh, we're going to hold the air. Uh, if you're listening on uh, Talk 101.3 The Buzz and watching on our Mix 104.1 Facebook page, we're going to hold the air because we're going to talk with Cleveland State head coach Lisa Gliano, who I would say... They're going to cut some nets down. And then also, we would love to speak with uh, Coach Paula Castro, longtime AD here. I see uh, Lee now down, down there. Dr. Bill Seymour, president of Cleveland State, who talked at the before the game at the half that he'd love to present, they see that gold trophy. They're, they're all taking turns with down there, and that he'd love to present the gold trophy to, to his own Cleveland State. Cougars, and that's happened here tonight. It's a special, special time here at the L. Quentin Lane Gymnasium. A lot going on here. There's just a lot of momentum. A lot of great things happening at this college. We're so pleased and honored to have been uh, to have been able to cover the tournament for you on the radio as well as on our Facebook page, which is powered by Cleveland State. Mix 1041 WCLE on Facebook, powered by Cleveland State. Cameron, I want to go back over to you for a second. Let's talk about some of the final statistics and uh, tell us uh, what is happening there. Yeah, we'll tell you a little bit about the final statistics today. Person had six, Young had three, Dixon eight. Walker only finished with three today. King had 12. Kerry Pratt had 16. He was five for five beyond the arc, Steve. He had five threes today. Fisher had nine. Wright had six, Thurman had seven for a total of 70. You look at Rome State, Hill had six, Jerome had three, Jordan had 21, Brooks had two, Black had 14, Reeves had 10, and Fountain had two. Cleveland State shot 37% in the second half and 30, 36% from the game. Rome State only shot 25% from the second half and 36% from the game. So uh, Rome State had a lot, uh, turned over the ball a lot. They had 20 points from turnovers and more in the paint today, but Cleveland State had 38 points from their bench, which really helped them secure the victory. They really came out, uh, as we said, uh, Cleveland State did like a house of fire in the uh, second half, and uh, that's where the game was won early on. They set the tone, as you said, in the uh, second half of competition as Cleveland State gets the win here, 70 to 58, to win the TCCAA Men's Basketball Conference Championship. They go to Hutchison, Kansas, as we've said, for the national tournament next week. Players are now being greeted by family and friends and supporters down on the uh, the floor, the uh, the court. And uh, we'd like to get uh, Coach Sigliano. I know he's uh, busy down there. Uh, now, Cameron, I'm guessing, and I said this earlier on the air, Walter State, uh, they're cutting down some nets. Is that right? Yeah, well, Walter State will cut down their nets in Cleveland State. We'll go one by one and cut down on the other court. Well, we may have to send it back to our, uh, in that case, we're probably going to have to send it back to our uh, our uh, studio. 
and uh, we will most likely do that here in just a moment. People's Home Equity Show getting ready to come up at 6 o'clock here on 101.3 The Bus. All right, let me remind you of our uh, programming schedule. Uh, first of all, uh, thanks so much, uh, before we do that, to uh, Dr. Bill Seymour, his entire team. Tremendous job hosting this tournament uh, over the weekend and tonight. Congratulations, Cleveland State winning the men's championship, as we've said several times, on their way to Hutchison, Kansas next week for the national tournament. Also, uh, congratulations to Walter State, won the women's championship in the earlier game. Thanks so much to Athletic Director Mike Palacastro, Tony Bartolo, Tracy Wright, Holly Vincent, just tremendous people. Uh, Lisa Glano, of course, head coach of Cleveland State, and the, the folks who have helped us with our coverage, including Cameron Bryant right here, Dwayne Williams, uh, also Morgan has helped us out quite a bit. Uh, I believe uh, Nicole Quince was involved at some points. Cameron, I'm missing anybody? Uh, Terry Evans, Gary Olmey. Terry Evans. Also, the, uh, two, uh, also one of our broadcasters as well. They uh, did a good job, Terry, uh, excuse me, Gary and Dwayne. Good job on the PA as well. And uh, Cleveland State did a great job hosting this tournament. All right, so we're going to leave it there. And uh, we invite you to stay with us. If you're listening on the radio, People's Home Equity. Today was a chamber spotlight with Bernadette Douglas. And that's uh, coming up at 6 o'clock on Talk 101.3 The Buzz. Also in sports action, it'll be the University of Tennessee men's basketball team at 9 o'clock tonight. They'll take on uh, Mississippi State in Knoxville. That's presented by Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union on uh, right here, Talk 101.3 The Buzz. And uh, we'll have Lee University action over on Mix 104.1 beginning here in about an hour at 7 o'clock. So we got a lot of great local action, state action. Cameron, it's the month of March. It's the month of March, and it's just getting started. You had a lot of madness here at the beginning of the month, and then now we'll have state high school basketball madness, and then following that, the NCAA tournament will be following. Yeah, it certainly will. We'll have, uh, of course, uh, Bradley Central High School Barretts on Thursday, 11 a.m. Eastern, Mix 1041. Uh, they take on Lebanon. Cleveland High School will know at about 6 o'clock or so who and when they'll play next week in the boys' state tournament as they move on. For Cameron Bryant, Dwayne Williams today, and uh, I'm not sure who's back at the station. Morgan. Morgan. Good job, Morgan. Thank you so much, buddy. For all of us at uh, Mix 1041 and Mix 1041 WCLE on Facebook, which is powered by Cleveland State Community College, Steve Hartline. Have a great evening, everybody. <laughs>